Welcome back to more Zombies Ate My Neighbor's Craziness. I am Joseph, and today we are going to tackle uh, levels 21 through 24 and maybe further. We'll see how much memory my um, 3DS can hold. In the last episode, we made it through spring. We survived Grandma Margaret, and we survived a bunch of werewolves. In this episode, you know what we have to deal with? My favorite enemy, Martians. So, let's get this going. Level 21. <clears throat> the day the Earth ran away. I typically tend to lose people in this uh, level. It was, well, not really. There's only really one that I lose on a more or less regular basis. And I will point them out, hopefully... I will point them out later, and hopefully I won't have any difficulties getting them. Alright, let's see here. Let's distract this guy right here. Yes, this time joining the Martians, instead of annoying <clears throat> football players, we now have annoying Jelly Bobs. I don't know where they are. they're at. And as always, the first thing I want to do is get this guy out. Now, um, <clears throat> this is probably the best place to take out the spaceship, because there's really nothing by, so as long as you rescue that cheerleader up there and that military dude over there, you are fine. There we go. And let's do this. But yeah, these two, the Martians and the um, Jelly Bobs together, are an annoying combination. Jeez, they spawned up. Okay, uh... I want to go this way. Alright, there's a dog over here that I lose often. Because a Martian will spawn in there with the dog. And sometimes he backs up. Because as you notice, the Martians move as you walk to them, they back up. Or they just come ambush you. But yeah, we're good. Now the rest of them in here, not too difficult. Yeah, I say it now. Watch me need somebody. Knock on wood, please. <laughs> Go this way. Rescue this guy. Get some more clowns. You know what's sad, though? We're not going to see that... Oh, shit. We're not going to see that spaceship anymore. That's it. No more spaceship. Good riddance of bad medicine. Perhaps. Alright, go over here. Alright, so far so good. <clears throat> Martians. I'll admit, they're not nearly as annoying in here as they are in, um, the other game. The other level we had them in. Look at that! He tried to go get my military dude. You know they're pusillanimous. You don't want them to take it. But no, 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 no. And we rescue everybody. Yay! So yeah, I'm on about one hour of sleep. I worked at Jewel last night. I just had difficulty falling asleep. And this morning I went to um, see about another job because, as I said, my well, I think it was the last video. I lost my other job. So I fell an application there, and hopefully all goes well. All right, this level. This level gives me difficulties. So many difficulties. The good news about this is there aren't any werewolves. A couple a tourist couples that transform into werewolves. That's blasphemous. I think every I think every Dr. Tongue level should have Werewolves, uh, chorus couples that turn to werewolves, because unlike most people, I actually like the werewolves, the, the, the um, tourists that transform the werewolves. I thought it was a neat touch. But we rescued the one I usually had difficulties on. <clears throat> I remember I tried doing a run similar to what I'm doing now last time, and I lost that explorer. And then I didn't play the game for a long time, and this werewolf's just gonna make my life hell. Go away. If y'all want to score points, the best place right is to do it is right up there. Just walk up and down that path, and you get a lot of points. That is victim number one. 
Ooh, an extra aid kit. I can use that. Remember that uh, bonus that uh, Sheldon can't touch to pick up on level 15? We're gonna need to get over there. Now, I think that baby is relatively safe. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, I, um, filled an application with this other uh, warehouse place, so hopefully I'll hear back from them within the next few days, and I'll be able to, um, start on there. I don't know if I'll be able to keep it with Jewel, because our, the times might clash, but it would be neat. Alright. here. Alright, that's there's a neighbor to the right there. She's at a relatively high risk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Pandora's boxes ready. Because I'm gonna need them. I come up. Go down. See, he goes right for that teacher. And despite the fact she's giving us an F-, minus, I do not want her to die. There's Dracula. We'll leave him alone for now. Alright, we're good. Go ahead and here. There's a key here. There's Dracula. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? <clears throat> I'll let's play with Dracula, shall we? Because he loves that cross. Yes, you fly around. You fly around away from that cross. Come on. Where'd he go? He didn't fly away. Did he fade out? Hmm. Well, come down here. I don't know where he went. Alright, then we have these two. Who can be killed by either the jelly bomb. Look at Dr. Tongue. Drink your potion and run away. You'll get yours eventually. Uh, the, both the baby and the cheerleader can be killed by jelly blobs. Frankenstein. Or Dracula. There's a secret bonus. And over here, in this wall over here, is a secret weapon. The flamethrower. The only place in this game you can get it. And there it is. That will come in handy against a certain boss later. Alright, I think I'm done, so let's go on. Oh yes, the next stage. <clears throat> this next stage could be a problem too. Uh, the next stage, you have a few victims who are at risk. Uh, and this next stage path is really, really important. But as you see, I have... Oh! Whoops. Oh yeah, this stage. I forgot about this stage. Sorry about this, guys. I'm a little off. This stage, we have another account with the giant baby. This is also a stage where there is an inaccessible victim. And I will point him out when we get to him. Alright, let's stay down here. We don't want to go much higher up because if we do, we have lots of neighbors that are going to bite the dust. As you see, it's getting dark. And as you would expect in the castle level, except for the last one, that means... Where of Taurus couples. If this baby would stay down here...
tell you what, we'll keep this up in the next part, so I'll see you there.